Obviously, we spend too much time in the, in the podcast studio, and we both get hungry. And so we decided to create this thing called what? Broken spatula. Broken spatula. Why? Why, you ask? Because we love food. That's, why, love that's my reason. I, I love, love food. Yeah, I love food, too. Love Obviously, cooking. this empire wasn't built by yeah. dieting. This machine right here. And this is kind of how it all started. Yeah, you, you were dieting and we were talking about all the things we're going to miss. And then we're like, <laughs> let's start a cooking show. Let's start a cooking thing. <laughs> Dude, we, we with, from all of our Broken Line podcast fans that, um, you know, follow us through all of our adventures. And now we're going to try to add this extra YouTube social media content where we cook and we bring different recipes. And uh, we have the viewers challenge us a little right. bit. We do some different variations of food. And I love cooking and in the last two years i've not only taken other people's stuff and recreate it but also created my own type of thing absolutely and um, you love crock pots i love crock pots i love these what do you call them electric skillet deal electric skillet so that's um, what we're rocking this today a disclaimer here we are not trained chefs that's nor will we ever be yeah like i like i love legos but i never want to be a master builder yeah absolutely. speaking of building you ready oh what are we building what well, are we we're making grilled cheese, man. Oh, yes. But they're not your ordinary grilled cheese. So today's episode, we are um, doing, yes, grilled cheese. Episode one of the Broken Spatula, grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. I'm doing the pizza grilled cheese. Actually, it's called an inside-outside pizza grilled cheese, kind of like a Hot Pocket, if you like Hot Pockets. Pop-Tart with nasty meat. So I'm from Wisconsin, so pudgy pies... At least that's what they call it there. It sounds like something that somebody called me when I was a kid. Pudgy pie. Yeah. Minnesota has other variations of names for it, and so do other people. So basically, pudgy pie is two clamps that clamp together, and they make... We call them tonka toasters. Tonka toasters. Okay, there you go. Right. You put it over the right. fire, you put two pieces of bread, you make a pizza, and it seals all the way around. And I, I wanted to try to recreate that campfire feeling of making that like Hot Pocket thing, but in a home and we actually sell this here at liars lounge at cole's resort so this i'm taking off of my menu and i am going to show you how simple it is and it's freaking delicious awesome what one are you doing dude i just i'm not gonna lie i straight up stole this off a menu here at the local restaurant in town somewhat don't Ladies, say the name oh <laughs> uh, kidding, uh, okay, don't say the name anyway there's this place that makes these extraordinary wonton wrapped pickles they, they with do. pepper jack cheese in it and those will be on this episode or on one of these episodes a, a rendition a rendition because yeah. i also create something just like that with a little so, bit different i stole the innards of these things and i was like because those things are, are kind of small and they're never enough yeah. i'm like i want to make a whole sandwich devoted to this there you go. So mine is going to be a couple layers of pepper jack cheese, a couple layers of uh, pickles, pickles, and another couple layers of pepper jack cheese. We're talking. Boom. So we're talking a Big. grilled, a pickled, a spicy pickle grilled cheese, right? Is exactly. That what it's called? Okay. Exactly. I mean, to me, a grilled cheese is like a blank canvas. You could do There's whatever so many you different want. Different grilled cheeses out there, and I guarantee we'll do another two or three grilled cheeses at some point yeah. on on this. So. The, the rendition of what this is, the broken line, spa, or broken spatula, sorry. Broken spatula is basically where we create goodness. Yeah. And this episode, we're doing we just decided that. to, yeah, make some goodness grilled cheeses. So, and it's appropriate for the time of year, man. It's still, it's winter. Oh, yeah. I, it's the cold. only thing with Ben is some homemade soup or something. Yeah, soup. I <laughs> just, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I've never made homemade soup. I go straight to the can. Straight to the Campbell's or something. Just. Right on. Except I do tweak that. I don't put a full can of water in there. I like thick. Thick can of yeah. water. I've, yeah, I've, okay, anyway, that's a different subject. So. Yeah, so what kind of bread are we using? We're not using just normal bread. We're using okay. French, right? Well, it says French. Yeah, it's bro. So I would cut that half of the word out because I don't even know how to say that. Briacci. Et Briacci. But you like said that. it sounded Italian, and yeah. I looked down and said, well, it's French. French. It's brioche. 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 I just French know that because they make all that 
delicious French toast that Perkins oh, yeah. out of this. So instead of using <laughs> a normal bread, we're using a little right. thicker of bread you, with a little French again, French Again, blank canvas, bread, whatever bread you want to do. Whatever I even have you... a recipe up here for using raisin bread. Ooh. Raisin That's a breakfast bread. thing, though. Absolutely. And custom, custom. we're not fancy people, so no, we're, fishermen. we're gonna show a finished version of each of ours on yeah. a beautiful Don't day. Don't set it on there, because it'll catch fire. Oh yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna burn. Okay. So, so you do, you, do you wanna kinda run through what your ingredients are, run through what you're gonna do, then I'll run through my ingredients and what I'm gonna do. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. Quality good bread. But you don't use butter, you use mayo. This is dirty little secret. For awesome grilled cheese, instead of using butter on the outside to make it crispy, mayo. Mayo. Real mayonnaise, not, not Miracle Whip. That's salad dressing. Yeah. It says so right on the jar. If you don't believe me, go check it out. Um, <laughs> this stuff crisps up really, really I fast. I do use that for burger buns on the grill. Right. So and I can see how yeah. it could benefit it's this. It's going to blow your mind. Um, Pickles, but you did... I, I'm doing thinly sliced. I sliced pickles, not not chopped. And it makes sense for a grilled cheese. So they're like slabs. And then makes, uh, I mean, you're gonna put a freaking full circle pickle on it. That's well, you that's could. genius. But that's the perfect version. Actually, for a grilled the pickles cheese I was looking for, they used to make these pickles. They were like this big around. They're called burger pickles. Burger pickles. Yeah, they were kind of expensive because they had to grow a cucumber like the size of a burger. A huge. So you, you just know. put one on there, and then it's like boom. And it's finished. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. So, yeah, that. I got pickles and then uh, just some uh, pepper jack cheese, nothing fancy. So, for for your yours, you're using real mayo to toast the bread. You're yep. using French bread. You're yep. using pepper jack and you're using uh, dill pickles, thinly Kosher. sliced. Kosher dill pickles, yeah. And I, for, for mine, I actually uh, had onions, um, spinach, and mushrooms that I actually pre sauteed. Over the oven, a little butter, little, and then threw it all in there, kind of dash it around. This this took a couple minutes to you know to do, so uh -huh. that's why we kind of jumped ahead and did it. But you can basically, for mine, put anything you want for a pizza inside of your deal. So yeah, I sure. just went with uh, pepperoni, then onion, mushroom, and spinach, and then I went with two different cheeses, mozzarella cheese and a sharp cheese, and then. Uh, a pizza sauce, and usually my favorite pizza sauce is one with uh, a little bit more of an Italian, Italian type flavor on there um, for a, for a good solid pizza sauce. And I am, you're just cracking her open. Well, Get I mean, ready. otherwise we'd you know we should make a couple of, earlier, right? A couple of chips. It's not coming out. So okay. how how do you? Why don't you start with making yours and see? For me, this is what I, I I'm gonna put a layer of butter. Uh, on my half. Okay. And then what I do is I end up for the outside portion, I use sharp cheddar and I sprinkle cheese on there and I kind of get it as a crispy. solid crisp. Cris yeah, you're literally cooking cheese right, right. on there. Now, temperature wise is very key for a grilled cheese because you don't want to go too hot. You want it to nicely, solidly cook and brown. Yeah, you, wanna, so you don't, you don't, you don't want like super dark bread and then your cheese well, the is melted. Yeah, the inside is not going to be right. cooked. So we're, I'm doing mine between 275 and 325, somewhere in there, but you can do it a little less than that. It's just going to take a little longer to, to, um, to completely cook. Here you go, bud. Mayo, complete. <clears throat> you don't just glob it on, you gotta, you gotta spread the love. So I'm going to fire up some butter, because why not? It, oh, by the way, this is not a slimming um, sandwich in, in no means at all. I mean, I'm using tons of butter, tons of cheese, uh, tons of goodness all wrapped into the one deal. So I'm going to, for mine, drop down. Okay. You got a little mayo there. A word of warning. Yeah, the mayo is more than the eye can see. I'm going to step over here real quick. So I am dropping down a straight layer of cheese. I actually am not going to butter my bread because I... Clearly put the butter Look at that. down on Son the deal. Son of a gun. So I'm making, that's going to melt together and make just like a thin paper of cheese. Right on. You can drop your daddies down. Well, I do this. I put the two mayo halves together first, and then I build my sandwich. So I, like, I like your style. Yeah. So now that my cheese is half, half ah. melted down, and I'm going to drop 
Oh yeah. Look at that. I've never seen her done that way. And then from there on, I'm going to build mine. So I'm going to do my tomato sauce. And you are making it just like a pizza minus the crust of paper uh, pizza. Can never have too much cheese on a grilled cheese. No. So that's, I think the, the love point. So I'm going to drop down some tomato sauce and I got my onions and must, uh, mushrooms and all that goodness. Wow. These pickles are huge. Look at these slabs, man. I might get into those real quick before, before it even has a chance to hit the griddle. You should be wearing one of your pickle shirts. Oh, I didn't even think of the I need to get a pickle shirt on since I'm wearing this. I am now going to slap down six, maybe seven, maybe seven. Very technical. Boom. So I've got this baby built and on she goes. And I got mayo all over my fingers. It is what it is. Throwing on some cheese, more cheese, more cheese. I can't wait to try yours, man. Now I'm going to work around my bread uh, underneath because I want to scrape up that layer of cheese without um, causing too much havoc. Right on. And I don't want to get my butter in your, uh, oh. your way. I'm going to drop down the second piece. Second piece going on. Actually, I'm oh, going to... Look at that! Damn. Put a little bit more butter down, because why not? Dude, I can't. A little bit more now, cheese. When we get these things cooked, we're going to cut them in half. He's going to get half of mine. I'm going to get half of his. So and I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm we're going to check it we're out. We're going to share, basically. And I am repeating That's what the process. Do. Check out this deal here. Now, do you, do you flip that thing? This is, this is where... I, I slightly screwed up. I need to go like this. Welcome to the broken wow. spatula. <laughs> ah. Dude. Well, the, I tried. The top looks amazing. The top does Just look amazing. Just scoop that on there and put it on top. Just make it. Yeah, man. Make it, it is what it is type of deal. There you go. Gotta do, ooh. Dude, this is why we're not, there's Gordon Ramsay come at us. The, oh. Dude, yeah. I put the wrong. Oh, you f you did fail there. Oh, same. It's pressure's on. So the the thing that I didn't do right is I didn't put my other piece on before flipping it like you. You nailed it there. Yeah. But I guarantee when mine's all done, I don't care. I what I tell my customers besides me screwing up mm. that flip job there. Yeah, I, I saw usually that. tell uh, tell my customers that this isn't for looks no no because <laughs> this is the taste that goes in your mouth it's not gonna look pretty dude but it's got kind of a face on yeah, it yeah it's kind of it's looking pretty either way but you can kind of see that this crisp um this crisp texture of that cheese took over the whole entire piece of bread and oh, yeah? turned it into and turned it into uh, a melted piece of piece of cheese oh yeah Mine's almost done. How about yours? Getting there. Now, if your cheese isn't melting, which mine really isn't, do you have a bowl? Like a pretty good sized bowl? I do. Down, uh, down there. Down here. A little bowl action. I'm going to use this. Hopefully it doesn't blow up, but I think it'll work. You can always do this. Oh, we got a pickle. Oh, to melt the cheese. Definitely. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Biting off pickles. Oh, cool. That'd be awesome if it stuck on the lens. Stuck in the camera and smacks it. You couldn't have. All right. So mine has come to a complete. Which heck? I don't want to burn this thing. Check out that madness. Oh, man. I just want to melt this cheese just like, a little. Like this is not a healthy sandwich in any way. Mm -mm. And that's that's not the point. Uh, besides it looking probably the sloppiest I've ever made it. Uh, tell me that doesn't look like one a heart attack, but two just delicious. It looks super good. Um, okay. Yours look. looks at least better than mine. Just want to but the only check. thing I would do to, to 
top this off is I would cut it. Look at that. You can lift yours up, show the show the top world. Boom. So that. I would finish this off with cutting this in half. Right. And then using this as a dipper, so a uh, pizza sauce dipper. Right on, man. That's what I would uh, completely do. Usually when I take mine off, because of all the cheese that slopped in there, it's not going to break as good as yours. So typically for my uh, specific one, I let it sit for a while, let it kind of harden back up. There you go, cut. buddy. Look at that. I'm not going to lie, yours looks pretty good. Well, we're going to find out. But I'll tell you what mine doesn't look like. Just doesn't look as good as yours. Yeah, but you know what? Oh. Mine will rock, though, I promise. All right, I'm going to try it. I'm going for it. I can't wait. I haven't eaten since lunch. Like a normal human being. Like a normal human being? Oh, my God, dude. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Just, it That's kick, good. Kicks you right, right where you need to kick it. This may need to go on the menu. It's good. Is it? I'm gonna try. You I've look. never made it before. I it's just came good. up with it. The key is the pickle's not too strong, and the pepper jack's not too strong. It blends together just pretty much perfect. Okay, let's we'll shut her down. We gotta eat, man. Dude. Broken, broken spatula, episode one. We're just dirty, messy, hungry. Give me a cheers, man. Making a mess. Here's to episode one and boom. I don't know, the Two next. creations. The pizza, grilled cheese with the fixins. Uh-huh. And the pickled, spicy, pepper jack, delicious goodness, grilled cheese. Yep. Awesome. We'll, we'll see you on the next one. Well, we're going to take this to the studio. Lay down some mad tracks for y'all. Boom. That was freaking good. Messy. Good. <laughs>